हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स प्रैक्टिस ग्रामर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउन्स एंड काइंड्स ऑफ नाउन्स एंड आल्सो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट ऑल द आंसर्स गिवन इन दिस चैप्टर दिस इज चैप्टर थ्री फ्रॉम द बुक हेडवर्ड न्यू ग्रामर विद अ स्माइल ऑफ क्लास सिक्स ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू click the subscribe button and like the video also and please comment if you like okay now we are going to start warm up exercise here it is given fill in the blanks with the suitable nouns here we have to fill nouns answers i am going to tell but you can fill according to you also in this warm up exercise so the first is rahul played with a ball the mother said i respect your emotions she baked a delicious cake yesterday when she lost the ring she was in great trouble the pink dress has many pearls raman asked his elder sister to help him find his book The dash was so boring that the dash fell asleep. The trip was so boring that the boy fell asleep. I saw a flock of geese flying above my house. Okay, so this was the warm up exercise. Now we are going to discuss about kinds of noun. as you all know first of all what noun is noun are the names of the people places animal things ideas and feelings so there are kinds of nouns how many kinds of nouns are given here one proper noun common noun collective noun and abstract noun so children first of all we'll discuss what are proper nouns these are the names of specific people places animals or things for example ahmed radha delhi tuffy willy the pacific ocean the ganga the ramayana the times of india proper noun always begin with a capital letter okay always remember this that a proper noun always begins with a capital letter and it is a specific name given to a person place animal or thing now what is common noun common noun these are the names of people places animals or things in general like boy girl man woman river sea bird mountain book pen field garden road these are all the names are given in general if a boy is there it's a common noun if i tell a specific name of that boy like raman so raman is proper noun and boy is common noun i hope you understood now collective noun these are a collection of group of people animals or things for example an army of soldiers a bunch of keys a bundle of sticks a fleet of ships so a collection of a or a group of people animal or things are called collective nouns abstract nouns now what are abstract nouns these nouns denote an idea or a quality or a state of being like beauty strength love hatred greed bravery length heat friends abstract nouns are the nouns which you can feel you cannot touch with your five senses okay so now here it is given exercise a underline the noun and put them in the correct columns you can see in this exercise columns are given for proper noun common noun collective noun and abstract noun so first one is ramesh saw a swarm of locusts and ran to safety so ramesh is proper noun locusts is common noun swarm is collective noun safety is abstract noun mala pushed her way through a herd of cows mala proper noun cows way common noun 
heard collective noun and in this sentence there is no abstract noun third the crew of the ship was injured in the accident there is no proper noun common noun are ship accident crew is collective noun and there is in this sentence there is no abstract noun Next one is Arunima picked a bunch of grapes for me after much persuasion. Arunima proper noun, grapes common noun, bunch collective noun, persuasion abstract noun. Fifth one, the lady there has a fleet of luxurious ships. So in this sentence there is no proper noun, lady ships common noun. fleet collective noun no abstract noun is there in this sentence now next sentence rajiv faced a pack of ferocious hounds with courage on sunday to so, rajiv and sunday are proper nouns hounds common noun pack collective noun courage abstract noun mohini decided to adopt a puppy from the litter Mohini proper noun puppy common noun litter collective noun and there is no abstract noun is in this sentence Meena squealed with delight when she saw a school of dolphins okay Meena proper noun dolphins common noun school collective noun delight is abstract noun The troupe of singers stayed in a hotel which is known for its its hospitality. There is no proper noun. Singers hotel common noun, troupe collective noun and hospitality abstract noun. Number 10. All my friends in the class took part in the games and sports with sincerity. Now here is no proper noun. friends class games sports common noun no collective noun sincerity is abstract noun so our exercise a is completed now here is exercise b find 15 collective nouns in the word grid and use them to complete the given sentences so first one is we saw a dash of kangaroos in the zoo we saw a mob okay m o b mob second a dash of dolphins was swimming alone with the boat pod p o d pod the dash of directors had a meeting on tuesday board p o a r d board fourth she has a good dash of stamps collection Next fifth one we saw a dash of stars at night constellation we saw a constellation of stars at night sixth a dash of sheep was grazing in the countryside a flock of sheep was grazing in the countryside seventh a dash of baboons damaged the garden So seventh is a tribe of baboons. T r i b e tribe. Indonesia is the world's largest dash of island. So archipelago. Okay, again I am repeating. Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago of islands. Look up the place in the dash of maps. Look up the place in the atlas of maps. The dash of soldiers crossed the border. The army of soldiers crossed the border. The dash of dancers performed well. The troop of dancers performed well. She handed over a quiver of arrows to the athlete. Quiver, Q U I V E R, quiver. Okay. Next is mother gave me a dash of pearls on my birthday. Mother gave me a string, S T R I N G, string of pearl on my birthday. The world's longest dash of mountains is the Andes in South America. So the answer is range. Okay, R A N G E. 
the monkey ate a dash of bananas so it will be punch of bananas b u n c h now exercise c use suitable suffixes to form abstract nouns of these words in some cases the words will change completely yes so just justice hate hatred child childhood kind kindness generous generosity foolish foolishness move movement good goodness poor poverty in this case the word is has been changed completely brave bravery then calm calmness slave slavery true truth believe belief b e l i e f confuse confusion c o n f u s i o n dishonest dishonesty then resist resistance bore boredom mimic mimicry possess possession p o w s e w s i o n possession okay so now it's given number some nouns can be counted while others cannot be counted nouns that cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns mostly uncountable nouns are abstract nouns okay usually not every time but usually mostly they are so for example water soil bravery honesty iron grass butter sugar okay in this you can see some are material nouns we can touch but generally uncountable uncountable nouns are abstract nouns also like bravery and honesty are also given in this nouns that can be counted are called countable nouns like boy table tree mango bat fan building most countable nouns have a singular and a plural form form see if a noun is countable you can make a plural form of that uncountable do not have their plural forms we it's a note we can make uncountable nouns countable by adding partitives to them like a bar of chocolate four pieces of furniture a tub of butter a spoon of sugar like this we can make them countable okay a noun that denotes one person or thing is said to be singular like flower cow house sister garden and a noun is in plural number if it denotes more than one person if there is more than one then it can be plural number like flowers cows houses sisters gardens now on the next page it is given study this table to understand the rules of forming plurals like in some forms we add s to make plural just we add s nouns which end with s double s s h c h or x in that we add es to form plural some nouns ends in a consonant followed by o in those nouns we make plural by adding es nouns ending in a vowel followed by o then in those nouns we add only s nouns ending in a consonant followed by y in that case we change y to i to make plural like city cities daisy daisies in place of y we have chosen we have put here i nouns ending in a vowel followed by y in that case we only add s nouns ending in f or fe there we use in place of f ves or it can only s can be also added in those okay like drafts can be drafts and dra dwa r f s or dwa r v e s same goes with scarf scarves but in knives thieves in this we add 
K N I V E S in place of F we use yes we use V exceptions now some exceptions are also there like some uh, nouns are like this undergo a ch vowel change then in place of that like a man man so to make this noun plural we will change the vowel okay in place of a we put e to make it plural goose geese g double o in place of double o we put double e to make it plural it will be geese f double o t foot singular f double e t feet plural more exceptions are also there salmon do not change at all it should it will remain the same deer deer sheep sheep jewelry jewelry information information so it won't be changed it will be same in singular and plural unchanging some unchanging nouns like oats exist only in plural form it will remain oats trousers trousers pliers pliers tweezers tweezers some more scissors scissors okay pants pants so this will not be change now here wrong plurals are written so we have to make its correct form in exercise d tooth it's written tooths it will be t w -E t h teeth tack quiz is written it is wrong t a x e s taxes curries no c u w -R, r i e s is the correct answer salmon no s will be added only salmon fries f r i e s scissor no s c i w -S, s o r s correct spelling campus spelling is written wrong it should be c a m p u s e s bakeries written wrong b a k e r i e s oxes is wrong o x e n oxen is the correct answer scarves is wrong s c a r v e s journeys j o u r n e y s then gooses is wrong g d -E 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 s e geese is the correct answer mouses is wrong m i c e mice is the correct answer persons is wrong p e r s o n person or you can write p e o p l e people okay then species in place of persons you write people okay species species s p e c i e s s a s spelling is given wrong it will be e double s a y s so now exercise e correct the errors and rewrite the sentences in your notebook i am going to buy some new furniture it will not be furnitures furnitures is wrong it will be furniture okay no s will be added ask your parents advices so it will be ask your parents advice okay then sheeps it's wrong it will be sheep as i told you before it will remain the same only i saw it on the news news is wrong we only say news n e w s news they had good weather on the trip weather is written weather is wrong it will be weather w e a t h e r we won the match by an inning it will be innings s will be added okay then she is suffering from measles no it will be measles s will be added he denied all the knowledges knowledges is wrong it will be knowledge tv is a mean of communications communications is wrong it will be communication i'll not comment until i have collected all the informations about the case it will not be informations it will be information now compound nouns children what are compound nouns a compound noun is a noun made of two or more words like bed room 
okay it's one word bus stop two words son in law hyphenated to form plurals of compound words add s to the principal word for example if it is written mother in law and you have to make plural of that so which is the principal word in this mother so we'll add mothers s we will add s in mother so it will be mothers in law add s at the end of the word when it has no obvious principal word when there is no principal word then we add s to the end of the word like forget me not forget me nots bus stop bus stops okay lieutenant general lieutenant generals spoonful spoonfuls plural form of nouns of foreign origin english has many words that have been borrowed from latin and greek these words often make their plurals according to the rules of the language they were taken from here are the rules for making plurals of foreign words type nouns ending with um bacterium datum ending change the ending to a it will be bacteria data nouns ending in on criterion phenomenon change the ending to a criteria phenomena nouns ending in a antenna vitreba add s or e like antennas antennae vitrebras vitrebre nouns ending in us fungus syllabus change us to i it will be fungi syllabic nouns ending in s crisis oasis change i to e like crisis oasis the pronunciation will be the same in this noun ending in x vertex vertex change ex to i c e s this table you need to learn children the spellings you need to learn okay then nouns ending in ix like matrix appendix change ix to i c e s matrices appendices okay now write the plural forms of these nouns in exercise f it is given so it is written stimulus so we'll write stimuli s t i m u l i second analysis so the spelling will be a n a l y s e s this is the answer cactus okay the plural form of cactus will be cacti c a c t i then stratum the plural form will be s t r a t a strata phenomenon phenomena p h e n o m e n a criterion the plural form will be criteria c r i t e r i a father in law fathers in law the principal word is father so we'll add s over there larva larvae l a r v a e vertebra vertebrae v e r t e b r a e index i n d i c e s is the correct answer okay now here what you have to do here is a puzzle let's play in two groups using the clues complete the crosswords the team chat completes the crossword first wins okay there is a crossword now proper noun name of the country here across we are reading okay number 6 proper noun name of the country to the east of india so it will be number 6 where it is given here you can see it will be bangladesh b a n g l a d e s h okay then number 8 common noun name the name of the person who cures number 8 across where it is given yes it's here at the corner it will be doctor d o c t o r then number 10 proper noun first name of the captain of the indian cricket team so number 10 across okay it is there virat v i r a t common noun name of a bunch of flowers 11 number it's bouquet 
B O U Q U E T. Then number twelve, proper noun, name of the ocean closest to us. So it is number twelve. Number twelve, where it is given? Fine. It is here, Indian Ocean. I N D I A N O C E A N. Okay. Proper noun, name of the continent you live in. It's number fourteen. So it is Asia. A S I A. Asia. Now next is down. Number one. Proper noun, name of the country above the U S A. Canada. C A N A D A. Abstract noun for exhausting. Number two. Down. Number two. Okay, here it is. Exhaustion. E X H A U S T I O N. Number three. Proper noun, name of the capital Telangana. It is. H Y D E R A B A D Hyderabad. Then number four, common noun name for a group of players. Number four, where it is? Okay, it is here. It is called team. T E A M team. Then number five, common noun name of a place where a pet horse lives. Number five. Okay, number five down. So it will be. S T A B L E stable. Then number seven proper noun name of the capital of England. Number seven down. London L O N D O N. The next is abstract noun noun for happy. It will be happiness. H A P P I E N E L S. Common noun the name of the animal that mews. So it will be number thirteen, cat C A T cat. Okay. Now exercise D. Rewrite each of these sentences after changing the number of the highlighted nouns. Make other necessary changes. So it's written the fox attacked the deer. So the answer will be the foxes attacked the deer. Deer will not be changed. In place of fox, we'll write foxes. F O X E S. I had my tooth crowned, so it will be I had my teeth. T W E T H. This man is from Argentina. In place of M A N man, you will write M E N men. Keep the book on the shelf. So here it will be. Keep the books. B O O K S books. And the spelling plural of shelf is S H E L V E S. The monkey ate the banana. The monkeys, M O N K E Y S B A N A N A S. The chef works with a sharp knife. The chef C H E F S, and the plural of knife is K N I V E S. The children, the child is playing in the garden. The plural will of child is children, C H I L D R E N. The girl is hiding behind the bush. The the girls are You have to change the verb also according to the subject. So it will be the girls are hiding behind the bushes. G i r l s b u s h e s. The thief was caught by the police. T h i e v e s. Thieves and police is not uh, highlighted, but if it would be highlighted, then it will be police only. Okay. The story was published in all newspapers. So the stories were, S T O R I E S stories were published in all newspapers. The foot of the woman had a red sore. The feet, F W E T feet of the woman, W E M E N women were covered with sores. S O R E S. Okay. The country. is facing a severe crisis because of drought the countries t r i e s t o u n t r i e s are facing severe crisis because of drought c r i c c r i s e s it will not be changed okay the fireman the fireman saved the puppy from the burning building so in place of fireman it will be fireman and puppy puppies p u p p i e s 
The museum has a variety of cactus. The museum has varieties. V A R I E T I E S of C A C T I cacti. The passerby help the victim. The passers by P A W -S, S E R S B Y B Y helped the victims. V I C T I M S. Now noun gender. Students. There are four kinds of gender: masculine gender, feminine gender, neuter gender, and common gender. Masculine gender is a gender in which a noun is used for a male person. A male animal is said to be in the masculine gender, like father, man servant, he goat, milkman. feminine gender a noun which is used for a female person or a female animal is said to be in feminine gender like mother maid servant she goat milk maid neuter gender non living things cannot be distinguished as male or female so they are said to be neuter gender so all the non living things are called neuter gender common gender nouns that can be used for both males and females jo dono ke liye use kiye jate hain they are said to be in common gender like parent child doctor friend student baby lawyer okay so they are common gender students exercises of gender and case we'll discuss in another video i'll make part 2 of chapter 3 noun do watch it and please like and subscribe the channel bye